Hello and welcome back to the Nevo Technology channel. For those of you who are new to our videos, there is a transcript and some links below the video for you. For our South African viewers, the links below are to our Nevo products. For our international viewers, we've provided links to identical or similar products on Amazon. Please make use of the comment section below the video. Give us feedback or ask questions. Our staff will respond to all your queries. You can also find us on Facebook, Twitter and Pinterest. The links are all below. Now today I want to talk to you about a serious bit of kit. Have you ever wished that your TV could be controlled and used just like a PC? Imagine all that screen space sitting in your lounge, unused. You'll be amazed to discover how easy, how easy it is to use your TV as a massive monitor and even more astounded by the many ways in which you can do it with a PC on a stick. What is a PC on a stick? Well, as technology has progressed, everything has been getting smaller, more compact, more portable and more powerful, all at the same time. The PC on a stick concept gives you the, a fully functional PC that you can hold in the palm of your hand or carry in your pocket and plug into a compatible TV or monitor wherever you go. My first exposure to the concept of a PC on a stick was about a year ago when Intel unveiled one. It is about the size of a large memory stick, has an Intel processor, USB port, HDMI port and Wi-Fi all on one stick. Using the HDMI port, I just plugged it into my TV. It had Windows 10 installed on it. And as this was my first exposure to Windows 10, I was looking around and I really liked the new Edge browser. I think it leaves Internet Explorer in the dust. Now, most people would merely plug in their PC on a stick and use it to watch movies, surf the web or write email using their browser. I went overboard, really overboard. I decided to turn my TV into a proper, full functioning PC. I wanted more USB ports, so I added a powered USB hub. I then attached memory sticks and an external hard drive to it. Not wanting to sit so close to the TV, I then added a wireless keyboard and mouse so that I could type and click from a distance. I then started installing my favorite Windows software on the PC on a stick. First up was VLC Player, so I could watch movies of any format and control it like I did on my PC. VLC installed and ran fine. Later I began installing other software and I even put Adobe Photoshop on my PC on a stick. I must say it ran a bit slowly, but it worked absolutely fine. The PC on a stick I bought only had 16 gigs of disk drive space. My suggestion is that if you buy one, you must get more disk space than 16 gigabytes because when I wanted to run Windows 10 updates, I ran into problems and found myself short of disk space. The USB hub came in very handy because by using memory sticks and an external hard drive, I could store stacks of videos to watch on my TV. Due to my ongoing bandwidth problems here in South Africa, I didn't experiment too much with viewing videos directly off the internet. Instead, I downloaded them onto my PC on a stick and then watched them on my TV. My connection is only ADSL, but I suspect those of you with fiber optic connections will have no major problems streaming video directly. As I know a computer program, I asked him how I could get an application to run videos on my TV. There are many applications, but I wanted to organize my videos and keep track of how far I'd watched various ones, as well as make notes about some important documentaries I've been watching. He kindly wrote a VB.NET application on his PC and installed it on my PC on a stick. He had to do several upgrades, clearly, but, uh, because he needed to fix some bugs. But much to my delight, it worked so well. It ran very fast, and I must say, I'm having loads of fun with it. Who would have guessed a fully customized VB.NET application would be used on my TV? I've since attached an external DVD drive to watch my existing DVDs. It works perfectly fine and my enthusiasm for couch PC on a massive TV screen is increasing. As my madness intensified, I decided to grab my old Canon scanner and attach it to my PC on a stick's USB hub. To scan documents and save them on my memory sticks. I installed the scanner software and it ran perfectly as I could view the documents on my TV and store them on the USB drives without any problems. All in all, I had a lot of fun. The only negative thing I experienced that I struggled with the Windows upgrades and that was because my primary C drive was only 16 gig. I found a way around it by installing the programs on my D drive, which was actually just a big memory stick plugged into the USB hub. So that way I could do more with my PC on a stick than most people would dream of doing. The process of the Intel PC on a stick I bought was not that fast. It was the same as that of a Windows phone or a Windows tablet, so it was still very acceptable. I installed several different PC applications on my PC on a stick and they all ran fine and displayed well on my TV. Just before doing this video, I looked through our Nevo catalog and found the stick PC concept had expanded massively since I bought one. Here are some other things you can do with your Windows Stick PC. You can play old retro PC games on your TV. Because it's Windows 10, you can plug in a huge range of controllers. You can even stream your Xbox One over the network. You can play your Xbox on your TV, 
even if your Xbox is in another room. Your TV becomes a connected media center by plugging in the stick PC, and an old monitor can be reused as a PC by plugging a PC on a stick into it. Just remember to buy that cable that allows your HDMI connection to plug into the old monitor. You can also take it on holiday with you because you can plug it into the TV in your hotel room and use it to connect to your work PC or use it as your media center to bypass those overpriced movies you pay for in hotels. What I've realized was that the PC on a stick is not just a toy for home use. It is a serious bit of kit. How about using it for your work, in meeting rooms or even in a corporate environment? Why not add a PC on a stick to the TV screen along with a wireless keyboard and trackpad and off you go? You can display applications on the TV including real-time charts, internet company, web applications or you could even browse something on the internet. You're only limited by your imagination. If you think that a stick PC is only limited to Windows, think again. They now come with other operating systems too. The Asus Chromebit is the cheapest stick PC. It runs only the Google Chrome operating system, so it's great if you only want to work on the internet. You also get stick PCs which run Android or can have Linux Ubuntu installed on them. There are even people who have found a way of installing Linux Ubuntu on Intel's PC on a stick. I also know that someone has taken an Android stick PC and installed Ubuntu 10 on it and it worked absolutely fine. Of course, you do get other devices which stream media from your PC to your TV, but they are often proprietary, they lack the ability to be customized, and you don't have the freedom of choice as you would with a PC on a stick. Well, that's it for this video. We hope you found the topic interesting. Feel free to write comments or ask us about any technology or ideas that would interest you. Don't forget to browse the Nevo website. We have over 100,000 items in stock and we are constantly adding more. Tune in next week for more ideas on how to use technology better. Until then, don't forget to leave comments or ask questions.